Good morning, everyone. My name is Haris Gachanin, and I'm a professor at the Faculty of Electrical Engineering. And my chair is Chair for Physical Signal Processing, and I'm also co-heading the Institute for Communication Technologies and Embedded Systems here in I. So uh, I graduated. So let's just sort of start with the questions. Yeah. So where did I study and what? Uh, I finished University of. Uh, I finished my undergraduate studies, so I got a diploma in engineering some quite some time ago from the University of Sarajevo in Bosnia and Herzegovina. After that I worked for a few years and then I went to my graduate studies in Japan. There I got my doctoral degree and after that uh, I worked at the faculty as an assistant professor, first as a postdoctoral fellow and then as an assistant professor. And all of this was in the area of electrical and communication engineering. Now. Uh, what I have been working on before I joined the faculty. So, uh, somewhere in 2010, summer 2010, I have been, uh, I joined Alcata Lucent uh, in Belgium, in Antwerp. And uh, now Alcata Lucent does not exist anymore, now it is Nokia. Uh, I worked for uh, Nokia until this year, April, and then from 1st of April, I joined the university. So during my 10 years of work in the industry, I have been working on different topics and most of them were related to the wireless communications, optimization and management of the networks. Now, uh, if we ask ourselves what is the significance of our work and why this electrical engineering and communication technology in, in general are relevant, well, I think you just have to look at yourself what you do every day. Just think what you do and what you use every day. You, there is absolutely no, not even one single part of our lives, of our activities, of our interactions with people that is not going through the communication technologies. That is uh, fortunate for me, but misfortunate for our, maybe for our society in some way. So we have to be quite aware of, of this balance between the human interactions that we have started losing and benefits of the digital communications, of digital interactions that we are gaining. So, uh, a question, what are my next project plans? So, um, by joining university, we have um, we had an idea of building a 6G research center, so 6G radio communication research center. So that is something that we are looking into. Uh, different topics will be, uh, we will be looking into different topics and, and that is from the design of the radio communication, mobile communications, then um, from uh, uh, in applications of artificial intelligence or research on artificial intelligence to be applied in communication systems. So we, our work is not focusing on the fundamental AI technologies. Uh, so this is something that, that we will be looking into. So development of laboratories, development of the uh, test beds, prototypes, and engagement with industry in different aspects. But not only with industry, but we also want to be getting involved and engaged with our partners in other universities. In Germany, yes, of course, but also outside of Germany, we are looking at some of the partners in Europe, in Europe and also our strategic partners in, in China, the Tsinghua University in Beijing, and also the, the, our the other strategic partner, uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology in Japan. So this is more or less in a in a in a few words on what what our next plans are. So. How does the next semester start? Oh, that is a good question, right? But uh, I, I have to say that uh, from my side, both personal and professional, it started disastrous. Um, the corona did impact a lot of things. Uh, so we had a, a large delays in, in hiring students, hiring postdocs, hiring uh, scientific staff. We also had a delay in teaching because uh, of all this what was happening. Then um, uh, we were having personal problems to move family from Belgium to Germany during this time, but now things are getting better, things are, are, are getting smoother and I think in the following one or two months think everything will be fine. So, now I think the main question is, why? Why did we choose to come to Arnhem? Well, um, I will be honest to you uh, very much and I will tell you like this. Uh, I think that working at RWTH or RWTH University um, is a privilege. It is not something that comes along the way. It is, uh, I think, people who are professors who are working here, not just professors, but all the stuff, scientists, stuff, postdocs, uh, even as PhD students, master students, you have to be privileged that you have you are studying in universities such as RIT, RR. And uh, from that perspective, 
you have an opportunity to work in different types of industries. You have opportunities to get high level of education, high quality education in the, at this, this university. So um, that is one the major reason why I have selected to apply and then successfully go through the process of application and then hiring in the, at this university. So um, now we come to the question of have I ever failed an exam? So yes, yes, of course I have failed the exam and I have failed the exam many times. Not one, several of them. Uh, but does it mean that that somebody is a bad student if he or she fails the exam? No, I don't think so. It is just a moment that maybe was not right. <clears throat> okay, maybe you didn't study properly. That's another thing. But maybe it was just in a moment that things were blocked and you were not able to express yourself. You do it properly. But uh, uh, that just means that you just have to sit down, can go back home, sit down and do it harder than the first time and then that's it, there's no other way. Yeah. So um, now, yeah, a little bit, maybe maybe looks out of the topic, uh, how many languages can I speak? So I can speak um, fluently uh, four languages. So my, 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 my mother tongue is Bosnian language. Uh, I can speak you know, English, obviously. Uh, I can speak Dutch and I can speak Japanese. So these are the four languages that I can say that I can speak fluently uh, without any, any problems. Uh, study, study foreign languages, please. That is quite, quite important. Uh, and uh, it will open you a lot of other doors. Uh, Chinese is perfect. It's really, really uh, something that I think we should invest our time. Definitely. Yeah. Um, how do you now spend your free time? So this is um, this is a quite a good thing. I, I like cooking, so I, I uh, more or less I I, um, I cook all of our main dishes at home. Um, my wife is cooking the sweets, yeah. But um, I, I enjoy cooking. It's it's kind of a way how I can just go out beyond the the, the work and, and whatever I'm doing. Uh, besides that, I like uh, uh, hiking. Uh, this is a little bit much better perspective than uh, than in Antwerp. And Antwerp is flat. Belgium is rather flat. Here, there is a little bit hillish um, areas, and that is that is something that we can uh, we can actually enjoy with my with my uh, kids and, and, and my wife. So, and now advice. Uh, what is advice for your successful study? So, if if I am actually first of all. If I can be allowed to give you an advice, that is that is the point. If I can give you an, uh, what I, I, I maybe I can say what I think that you should do, and then you take it or not. Um, no matter what you think, how good you study, how much you study, how hard you study or learn, try to learn, I think um, probably you could do much more. Uh, there's always the way how you can try to organize yourself and, and try to find ways to, to do things better. Um, sometimes you are maybe not focused, sometimes you are on the social medias and uh, actually most of the time I think people are on social medias. Uh, so we should try to see to find a balance between that uh, and ex especially if it's distracting you from your studies. Um, that's one thing. Then on the other hand, uh, on the other hand, I really think that uh, um, it is not this three, four years, five years of, 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 of life that you actually are now sacrificing. No, this is just, I think you should look at it as an investment for your life, nothing more than that. Huh? Um, and that's, that's about it. Thank you very much and I hope that you have enjoyed this short video and that yeah, we can meet some of the times in the future.